Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you the MVP of my project and how I build it as well. So the MVP of my project is very simple. It is an e-learning platform. So the feature is going to have, so first it's going to have the course. And the next feature is going to be track the progress of the students. And the student can enroll into the course and then we can do authentication. So this is the fourth main feature of my MVP. So I build this one in less than two weeks. So, so let me show you how I build this one. So first we talk about course. So for the course right here the feature that i'm working on is list only so basically a read for this one so how i create and update and let's say update and delete the course so for create updates and delete right here i do not work on this one so basically the ui and everything i do not work on this one so the way that i create the data how i create my course or update or delete i can just go to superbase dashboard directly and i can do it right there so right here i can just go into superbase dashboard and so this saved me a ton of times because uh, let's say I build this one probably maybe one or two weeks to complete because I have to create an admin role who can create this one and have to do page protection and things like that. So uh, as of now, this feature will be not used by my user. It will use only by me. So then I can skip this part right here. So then I can probably later I can come back and then create this feature. But as of now, I can focus on the feature that will be used by my user because I want their feedbacks and then I can update and improve the website. So that's why I take all the attention working on the track progress right here and then do the enrollment as well. So. And then so for that other than that i can take my time to record the course so we can do the records right here all right so this is the mvp and how i build this one probably less than two weeks because i eliminate the feature uh, right here and this this track progress right here it's actually really easy to do so let me show you the demo of the website so this is the website so this is where i read the course from superbase and i click right here so you can see we have track number of student who enrolled and you can click on buy the course right here and then but you need to log in first and we show the lesson and then we can tr uh, track the progress right here as well okay so right now let's talk about how i render the data of this application so this is also very simple so if you look at this table right here so if you know if you want to know how i track this ta uh, create this table you can check out my previous videos so um, we have the course and the lesson so first of all, this two table right here, the course and the lesson right here, this is public data. So it means even non-authenticated user or um, authenticated user, I mean, everyone can read this data. So what I'm do with this one, I fetch this one at build times. So basically I fetch this one at build times. So when the student go to the page, you don't have to fetch from the database because we convert this one into the static page. And so as you can see, when you click on here, if you, even if you navigate, you will see it immediately. You don't have to fetch the data from the database. So this is give me a, 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 the user a better experience. So when they click just on navigate, they will see it immediately. All right. So, but for the other data, so for example, this data right here, so as of now, um, so for the lesson content, the progress, the enrolled and the user information right here will be fetched at run times. So for example, right here, the number of students who is enrolled or the, the whether the student is complete a uh, course or not. So basically all of this one will be fetched at uh, run times. So, um, but this one, I also use React Query to store the cache. So basically all of this one will fetch only one times only. And then we, I put this one inside a cache and then we can read it from there. So if you look at the React Query right here, so you can see if I navigate to this page, this data is used. And if I navigate to this page, it's used. So it means it will fetch one times only. And then, so if you want a fresh data, the user can refresh because I set the stale time of this one to infinity and yeah so basically we since this is a simple application that probably the student will only see fetch their progress only we don't have to keep fetching the data every time the user go to page we can just list the uh read from the cache and whenever the student complete we can go and update the cache that give uh, a better experience to the user in my opinion i think because it feels really fast and yeah so that's uh, how i render the data so, but there's a slightly a problem with this approach. So the number one problem is that whenever I create the new course or updating a new course right here. So I, what I need to do, I need to redeploy the applications. So I need to redeploy the application. 
So since this is, will be static, so I need to do re redeploy every time I'm adding the course. But I think for me, I think it's fine because the reason is that in order to create a course, probably I take some time to create it. Maybe once a month or two uh, two weeks, uh, I can make one course. So it means every time, every two weeks, if I create a new course, I can redeploy it. It's fine because the data barely changes and yeah, I, I don't have really much course uh, as well. So um, I think that's why it's okay for me to just go and redeploy the application every time there's a new course. But I think maybe in the future, I can work on the feature where I can just revalidate the page instead of keep uh, redeploying. But as of now, I can just do redeploy. And so um, this is what I'm going to do for to solve this problem. So yeah, so the next feature that I will working on for maybe adding to my MVP is the ability for the student to review the course. So for the review right here, I will need to create, um, I think this is will be fetch at runtime as well. And because the user will come in, in and see how many star of this course get and things like that. Yeah, so this is uh, will be the next feature. And all right, so that's how I built the MVP for my project less than two weeks because I eliminate a lot of feature and the feature is actually very simple. Uh, it's, it's enough for the student to uh, enroll and to learn. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it on how I build this one. So let me know in the comments what do you think and all right, see you in the next video.